Hey y'all, Dylan the Real Estate Guy coming at you with a crooked, there we go, even better. Dylan the Real Estate Guy. If you didn't know by now, I have a real estate brokerage and I also am a property management uh, guy. I've got a company that does great for our people. <clears throat> like, share, follow if you got time. Today, besides lowering this just a little bit, I am talking about the costs of selling a property, okay? So a lot of people think, about selling a property and they just think, oh, I have commissions. Whatever that is, we're not talking commissions today. But what they do is they think that's all they have to pay. In reality, there's usually 2% of other costs and then maybe something else. So that's what we're talking about. So obviously, if you sell a property and you use a realtor, which I highly encourage, we are licensed, we, you know, we know negotiating, we understand the process, we offer a great service. But if you don't go that right, there are still other costs. Like I said, you're gonna have title fees. Those are part of that 2%. There's gonna be state transfer tax, there's gonna be title fees, there's gonna be some wiring fees if you're paying off a mortgage or if you're having funds wired to your bank account. Those are some things. Then we get into other items. Sometimes you're negotiating. Maybe you're not in a super hot market and you're like getting whatever you want and sellers or buyers offering their firstborn child naming rights. Maybe you have to do other things. So maybe there's a marketing incentive such as home warranties, or maybe you're paying closing costs. Maybe you're selling that property that's kind of first time home buyer, or it doesn't even matter. We can negotiate those and they're great. I love it when I buy. If I can get someone to pay 1500 bucks, that's worth more than getting $1,500 off the purchase price if I'm financing it. So those are a couple of the other things and then and then the other item besides my crooked camera, apparently I gotta get something different. The other last thing here is the cost of moving. Because I gotta be honest, once you're outside of your 20s, your friends don't wanna help you move anymore. A case of beer and a pizza just doesn't cover it. We're old, we're hurt our backs. Like the other day I woke up, rolled out of bed the wrong direction and suddenly my neck was crooked. It happens, right? So the cost of moving, hiring movers, whether it's two men in a truck or local people or whatever, is huge. So keep that in mind. You know, you're not just paying commissions and if you get rid of that, you still have some other costs. They're generally not too bad, but they're gonna be there.